Hello my beautiful people, hope you're doing good wherever you are. As always, if it is your first time in my YouTube channel, don't forget to like, share, subscribe and hit the notification bell to get more and more videos. So today I am in the middle of nowhere, as always I walk from one place to another looking for hot desserts. So director, Nikofiti, anyway tell me what I look, how I look like today in the comment section down there. So director, I want to see People are really watching. Let's go. So whatever we are going to do guys today is uh, I've been walking and I've been uh, trying to track this lady after Linifuata. Considering the fact that she's going through a lot. Nanili Kuja Kwake because she's still young and she had just completed her KCSC. And uh, the parents were like uh, they wanted to um, disown her. But then they did, they did, the dad actually did. That's why I I hope you guys are ready to get in touch with me. And let's do something amazing. Namsishangai niko wapi uku leo. Manake niketu pale pale ndani. We walk as we see what's happening in this area. This lady has gone through a lot once, eh? And uh, I felt it twice to come to her on board and just talk to her because whatever she's going through, nikitu nyinafaa kwa nikwa pale inje. Director, yes. are we good? Yeah, okay. okay. Director, you can also come and say hello to the fans. Okay, fine. Director may cut up, but it's okay. So let us walk and see what is in store for us, guys. I hope you guys are ready. Very, very ready. Come on, Kuapu. Now you are new to my channel. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Alafu wase, msisao kwamba, nimepenzenyi ndimenieka hapa, and it is because of you guys that I'm trying to reach out to people. Yeah. Excuse. After listening to her story, I thought it was that ni let abroad, so that everything can be as it is, because a lot of, a lot of things are working out, are not working out for her, so I thought it was ni walete uku. You see her like Na jom na juliza ni aje ni mefika uku na na jom na shanga uku ni wapi maliniko ni konda ni ya manyumba 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 mingi sana and I thought it was that guys let me just bring you guys to this person because this lady has gone through a lot she is suffering and whatever her dad did to her is so unacceptable. And you parents out there, I know that you expect a lot from your kids. You expect to take a Peter exam. That is it. But as us also, we expect you guys to listen to us. Don't forget to watch this video, my beautiful people, because it is going to be lit. We are going to be lit. Don't mind them. So, director, Apa is a bit too dark. Sindo? Is it dark? It's dark. Okay. Uh, Rusu Kidogo. Hello, Eugene. Mambo. Um, guys, so to me figure out the premises of the guy, uh, of the lady, actually, I'm going to call her. And uh, I hope you guys are ready to watch the video because whatever she's going through, we need both hands to come up together for us because this lady has been going through a lot. Nani nini tundo mtam support? Si kwa kupenda kwa kama mepitia hizi, but ni kwa wazazi wake, manake wazazi wake, awa mtaki, kama babake ya mtaki. Ni mtoto ambaye alipoteza wazazi wake. No, actually she lost her mom. I don't know, the story is a bit long. You just stay tuned, watch the video till the end. Usibanduke. We'll see you in a bit. So to Mefika Macau and we are here guys. I hope you are ready. I hope you are ready to what we are going to do. And uh, just put me in your press because what you're going to handle here is a bit hard, a bit complicated and a bit painful. So I chat to Ingia Pandani. I don't want to show you my real face, but before before Wendy Mbale, I want you to leave a thumbs up in this video because whatever we are doing here is meant to save other people's life, young lives who are out there, who are doing something meant for their families. I don't know what you're waiting for. Just like the video, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more and more videos like this. Director, let us hope this, is, this goes as planned.
Hello. Bariako. Kwaji. Kupoa. Kupoa. Karibu director. Uh, so we are back at the premises of the lady. I'm just going to close the door. Msishangai maliniko because whatever you're going to hear here is so painful. I say na nataka mkuwe na mimi up to the very end of this video. You also pray for a beautiful lady. We may make up a chin because Kenya may put here nikitu enye. Adi misi jika na eza fathom to eat. So wacha tu skize. Ah, itachukua to my seat here. Santi. So how are you doing? I'm fine. Unendelea aji since tuonge imekuwa long and uh, I remember ule ni kujia ni likuwa tu nimeketi pali and nika kuona nika sema eh kwa ni what's up okay how have you been umekuwa aji of late? Nikujaribu tu mm. maisha imendelea tu kuni mm. yani I'm still struggling mm. na teseka huku venye nilikuambia okay since venye uli niacha uli acha kani kona mamu na Tulikuwa tunaenda tu tunaendelea vizuri na mama but dada kanza drama mingi mm-hmm. anakuja akipiga mama saa mimi unajua ni kwa venye alikuwa anakuja akimpiga mimi nilikuwa natolewa nje mm-hmm. sasa siko anajua main point mbona anampiga so mm-hmm. one day hiyo siku nilikuwa nimetoka shule mm-hmm. nikakuja nikapata mama wangu amelala chini na nikimwangalia nikaona alikuwa na, nini alikuwa amedungwa kisu kuangalia round sio ni babangu saa mimi nikashangaa nikadhani ni wezi wamekuja kamua ndio kukaka majirani wakakuja wakaniambia alikuja kama amelewa mm. akaua mamu na katoroka kaenda before tumalizia hapo najua tunaongea na fans hapa na vitu zenye unawaambia ni kitu painful na wakujui jina kwanza unaitwaje kwa majina naitwa Almasi 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 nani Almasi Linto Almasi Linto unatoka wapi like makao yako kwa unajua hapa si kwako juna hapa ni mali ulikuja tu ku stay for some days after the attacks ndio mm. so uh, umekuki issue hapa like where were you living before with your dad south b south b yes sasa hapo ndo umekuki issue mm. so can you please just tell us what happened ikafanya adu akuje ukaishi kwa nyumba yenye na kaa hivi kwanza hii ni nyumba yako my dad delinileta huku mm. amekuwa akinifungia ananiambia nisitoke nje sasa mimi nimekuwa tu nikikaa huku hadi mimi huku usiki ati kila mtu ananijua Mwana mm. nyonanga tu nikitoka nje nikirudi. Mm. Na huyu babako baada ya kalaile. Eh, yeah, he's still alive. Na ulisema alikudunga ki, alidunga mamako kiss. Mm. What transport juli umesema hapa like uh, ulitoka sijui karudi, ukapata kama mamako amedunga kiss the blood was all over. Kwa nini? Mm. So unajua mimi venye nilikuja sisi kwa najua anything I thought ni wezi mm. ndo saa majirani kutoka nje kulikuwa na yani huyo close jirani yetu kabisa huyo next door akaniambia alikuwa nasikia madrama babangu akipiga mam na alikuwa amekuja amelewa alikuwa anaongelelea mara sijui anataka mtoto mwingine kijana kitu kama hiyo so unajua mimi si oh, by the way mimi ndo niko peke yangu mimi ndo mtoto peke yangu so mimi nilikuwa venye nilisikia hivyo nikasema acha niende police station Daka kidogo niko na dad ndio huyo anakuja. Dada akaniambia ninge kwa nyumba. Nikamuliza mbona amefanya hivyo mamu. Akaniambia ni nyamaze ama ataniua. Na mamu bado tu alikuwa amelala hapo chini. So majirani unajua hakuna kinywaneza fanya juu. My dad is hamle. So hawezi ita mapolisi sijui nini eh. Sasa mimi dada akanichukua kanitoa. Akanipeleka pale sijui unajua siku anaona pale inaenda. Juu alikuwa amefunika macho yangu. Sasa ndo ile kufika mimi kufungua macho najipata niko kwa hipless. Akaniambia nisiwai toka hapa. Niswai toka. Niswai toka unajua uliku venye ulikuja kwangu nikiwa pale uliniambia eti huyu babaka amekuwa kikutesa in one way or the other for example uliniambia ulipata sijui ulipata grade gani ulipata ulipata an e an e mm. so after getting an e ukaniambia there was a sort of punishment babaka alikufanyia mm. first of all huyu babaka ako na another wife yes ako na another wife na huyu another wife pia ako na mtoto anatoshana na mimi mm-hmm. tulifanya na form 4 but ya kapata a mimi nikapata e juu ya stress mingi umesema eti ulipata e yes. yule msichana mwingine akapata a mm. so what was the punishment that your dad was giving you since you got an e mi venye nilipata e my dad kwanza venye alileta kwa hii nyumba alikuwa anakujanga anakuja huku analala na mimi na ananiambia nisiongee so unajua siwezi sema kitu because is my dad na nani saa zingine ananiletea chakula unajua ningemsema obviously chakula singepata na singe meaning alikuwa na have sex na wewe kabisa eh sasa sasa what was the reason why he was having sex na wewe na akona bibi aliona nikaa mimi si kitu kwa life yake sasa mi yani i'm nothing 
siwezi msaidia Mwatle. Sasa huyo mtoto wake mwenye alipata A ndio ako worth it. Hadi kuna siku akakuja na sam, nini madaktari almost kitu kawa ine hivi what I can remember wakanishika mkono wakanifanyia some yani wakanitoa kidney moja so the, uh, wale kutoa kidney moja i think what those doctors did waliingia wakaku wakakupatia i don't anesthesia wakakudunga anesthesia mm. without you knowing and then they removed your kidney yeah. sasa so, so you are right now having one kidney i have one kidney na hiyo kidney yangu hiyo ingine nimetolewa babangu alienda akapeleka huyo sister yangu abroad so me abroad sasa so, mimi niko tu hapa sasa so, alikuja akatoa kidney yako apeleke okay, asomeshe ule mwingine jua alipata A mm. asa alienda United States of America aliona huyo msichana mwingine ako worth kunishinda sasa mimi si nikabaki tu hapa sasa umebaki tu hapa umekuu kilala na yeye mm. sasa as a form of punishment what i'm trying to get because you got an E in high school as a form of punishment mzazi wako huyo babaka aliona alale na wewe akuja atoe kidney yako ndio everything ikuwa sawa kwake Mm. What about your step mom? Yeye yeah, kwani haiziki kusupport ama tu yeye the, the, the ruthless step mom. Ah, uh, your step mom wangu tuseme tu ni ruthless. Hadi yeye, yeah. yani tuseme venye after tuseme venye babangu alikujanga huko aka ni rap. Sasa unajua nilijaribu kwenda kutafuta msaada huko nje. Nikasema the best place is or west home is the best. Yeah. Nikasema acha niende kwa nyumba nione kenye mom atafanya juu na juu chungwa mtoto ni mama ndiye anajua even though she's not my real mom nikajua at, at, at least ata kwa na hiyo feeling mm. mi kufika huko nikapata kwanza dada yuko mom ndiye amika huo mtoto wake before sasa travel mm. sasa nikamu explainia kila kitu nikidhani atakuja kunisikiza but instead she chased me away mm. kaniambia nienda hata kisori zangu anijui mimi si damu yake mm. mamangu alishakufa na hadi akaniambia story zote she was the reason behind hiyo mamangu kuuliwa Aliambia babangu juu babangu alikuwa anataka kumchukua mlete akamwambia yeye yeah, haezi chukuliwa kuje kwa hiyo nyumba kama yani haezi kubali kuishi na co-wife mm. it's better akuwe yeye peke yake na uwe huyo mamangu ama mfukuze mm. so the best thing babangu yeye aliona ni yani atamini tu mamangu for life asikuwa anakuja kumsumbua mm. okay so after that after whatever that woman did to you huyo mwanamke baada ya kuna babako tu anaishi huko eh, ako na yeye na wako wako na watoto wangapi mmoja tu yote sasa hii wako na wawili kona mm. sasa last born ni kijana na i think aku class 3 na huyu huyu msichana wenye alipelekwa abroad anasoma anasomea nini Aso. Al, alipelekwa kwa somea medicine but most yani rumors ziko unajua mtu akienda abroad akianza kujinvolve na watu wa huko sijui rara mingi nasikia ana nini drugs zinamsumbua so anasumbua dad so unajua dad pia hiyo yani tuseme Yana anaona nikaa kuna kazi yenye alifanya. So unajua ziambia kila mtu. Eh. So uh, ulisema mama yako living you litoka pale ule mpata ina pool of blood. Mm. So hapo hapo ina pool of blood. How how did you clean up the mess? When do you clean up hiyo nini yote ya juu liniambi when do you sijui when do you dig up the grave kamsika. So unaona mimi venye nilikuja nikapata mama ko chini na damu iko kila mahali venye nilikwambia nilikuwa az, yani nilikuwa mdogo siwezi sikuwa na joke tunaweza fanya nikatoka nje kuuliza majirani ndo akaniambia kenye ilifanyika so kukaka hivi kidogo nikashindwa sana nitafanya nini mam nikajaribu kumwamsha because yeye ndo alikuwa mtu mwenye alikuwa ananisikiza kwa familia babangu alikuwa anaona ni kama ni ovyo jo at first alikuwa anajua mimi ndakuwa kijana so venye nilitokea msichana sasa unajua vitu zikaanza kuchange change so venye nilikuja nikapata mam ame Amen amekufa mimi nikaanza kulia so umesema venye ulipata ulikuwa mdogo mama kaka wa watu akakwambia whatever what was happening to your mom pale ndani mm. baba akakukuja like sasa because since it has already happened akukuja msaidie like sasa chukue mwili aende azike ni wewe ndio ulizika peke yake okay venye nilikuja nikapata mom amelala chini i was yani nikapata knife kwa kifua sasa nika try kuitoa nione kama anaweza kuwa sawa. So ile yenye nenda kumkaribia akanishika akaniambia my daughter nimeenda lakini nataka kukuambia hivi nakupenda. But pa, kwa mkono wenye nimekuacha najua utakuwa sawa lakini nataka ukue na hiyo hopes. Yaani yani, ujikakamue kwa hii life. Yaani ukue a better person. Na hivyo ndo venye mamangu ali, alikufa na nani alimuzika. Okay sa venye kukakaa sio unajua ni mamangu na babangu nikikumbuka mtu kwa zenye babangu alikuwa anafanya nikaenda nikaita mabeshte zangu my friends wakakuja so 
ile nye venyo alikuja. It's okay. It's okay. Nye alikuja, tuka nisaidia kubeba mamu. Mm -hmm. Tuka ndo tuka tafutu pa litumeza mpiku posu. It's okay, it's okay. Shh. Then what happened? Just take your time. I know it's painful, but just take your time, okay? Everything is going to be okay. Guys, I don't understand what's going on. Sielewi wazazi wengine. Sasa mtoto waka napata i, unamua kumweka bibi yaku na lala na e. Ni kama uyo babaka alipata e. You parents, you know I've always wondered what's wrong with you. You, since you went to school and got that A, it doesn't matter that Asa, because you got an A, your kid is also supposed to get an A. So Alipata E, she has no kidney as we speak. And there is a big news she told me before even came in, coming here, sorry. And that is what I want her to talk about right now. Mtu kidney yawe yaki metolewa, ajua peleke mtoto mingine shula alipata A. Mi sina ubaya na uyu mtoto menye alipata A akaenda abroad. But I don't wish that lady luck because whatever is happening to this our girl here is not okay. As a parent, you're not supposed to do that to your kid. It is not advisable. Mtoto wako, I think you should stick with her no matter what, through thick and thin, ata kipata fa, ata kipata ba. That is your kid. You should not go out there, unanza kumistreat. Kama umi ni mtoto wake, mama ke alikufa. Can we continue? Ama, you're still, you're still nini? So, ni kulize sasa kwa venyo mekapa after kuchukua yungulia mamako wakaenda wakaizika. Babaka kakweka wife wake. Sindio, he told me something wakad. Like, I don't know whether I was dreaming, but you told me that you might be PG. Is it true? Ni jaribu kustand behind there. Ni sikilize his story. It's so sad. Adam. You have your time, but this is not fair. It's not fair at all for what is happening. For what I know, Eugene, Adwe, I think your mom cannot do that to you. I just don't get it. Can I ask you a question? Do you mind if I sit? Yes, sit. Hmm. Baba ku saizi ya kwa live? Yes, saizi ya live. He is still living in South B? Mm. Na kuna venye ni mesikia, he is still using drugs ama? Mm. Have you ever gone to see him? Mwisho venye nilianda uko ni venye nilianda ni kamuambia. Juni, venye after kuni rape, unajua kuna reactions nilikuwa nasikia. Sa ni kajishuku, ni kasema acha ni pigie beshitangu wa nipeleke hospitali. Kuenda, ni kapimwa, wakapata I'm pregnant. Sa ni kashindu wa nafanya nini? Ukumjamzitu. So you are. And sorry for asking this. Uyo, do you have another boyfriend? Do you have a boyfriend? I don't have. Because babangu nule mtu mwenye alikuwa na nipata ni kiss mama na mwana ume ananipiga. Na unajua venya nilikuja huku ni mekatu kwa nyumba ni kitoka maybe ni msalani na kurudi. So ni kulize, siji kama utamaini ni kikulize isu wali. But si unataka usaidizi. Uh, so nataka ukwe frank na mimi kidogo sawa so saizi have you ever had sex with anyone else no apart from babako no kwa hivyo babako ndali break your virginity yes wow. so you know the parents yani babako mzim babako you know i don't understand see lewi how does do what i can wow. say here now uli i don't know so one nation a step mama wako? Mm. So easy. Na mtoto mdogo kijana. So you also have another brother. My step brother. Mm. Wote ni wa mama moja. Mm. Lakini hao wana treat you vizuri. Uh, no, si wote sio mama mmoja. Huyo mm. msichana mkubwa mm. ni dadi dada alimpata na mama. Yaani huyo mm. mama alikuja naye. Mm -hmm. So mtoto wa dad ni huyo kijana mdogo. I don't understand your so direction. Mtu mnye Akuna damu different kumuliko better than wewe mnye kuna damu yake. Ana mpeleka abroad. Aka mpeleka abroad with my kidney. And then you told me aliku threaten that amekupatia I don't know five days. 
within these five days, because how we, she was explaining, it was mm-hmm. so sad that in the morning or room, like within these five days, mm-hmm. it's either her heart or the other kidney will be gone. You know, you cannot survive without... So currently, uh, Dad and mom wanajua, but you want to talk about wanajua, you do anything. How many times does he come to visit her? All same thrice a week. Na kikuja si ati kuni visit ati le kuni visit mtoto baba ivo. Ana kujia tu kuwa sex na mimi na kurusha tu maneno na kuenda. The last time ni yale kujia pa ilikuwa lini? Ilikuwa juzi. Na ilikuwa uku. Trini zaka koma siku before kujia pa. Na na juu kona boy. Si ni ni lena nka muambia akanambia hizo vitu ya taki kuskia. Yani alisema ajua kanza kusema nilikuwa naleta wanaume huko ndani so nitafute baba mtoto ni nani na yet ni yeye na na huyu step mom pia anajua uko PG yes step mom anajua mm-hmm. kwanza huyo step mom ndiye anafanya dad mm-hmm. ana reactive na mimi sana mm-hmm. mm-hmm. ukimwanga ukiangalia huyo step mom ni kama mtu mwenye anaweza kuwa na deal na vitu za mashetani shetani hivi hizi netu waje uganga uganga okay huyo step mom wangu ni mkisi na unajua vinyo nasemanga wakisi na nule mkisi antoka nyamira mm-hmm. so siezi sema ti ni mtu mzuri mm-hmm. ni kuseme kuna vinyo tu amefanya baba angu wako mm-hmm. so, juta angu wa mpate ndi akanza kufanya zivi tu kwa so zote so baba angu before this amikuanga salama alikuwa poa mm-hmm. sisa nini vinyo tu alipata o mama mm-hmm. ndo vitu zikanza kuchenchi mm-hmm. eh, sasa Hizi vitu zote umepitia hivi na have you ever tried and contact anyone for help wambi baba uende kwa polisi Maybe my only my friend my best friend anajua vitu zote na nilimwambia siambie mtu juu ikijulikana kwa mtu mwingine mm-hmm. babangu ataniua kama sasa hivi mnaniona hivi I'm three months pregnant Kuna kitu nyingi sielewi by the way Okay na I hope unipime June Medil na watu wengi wenye uona tupimanga akili sana umekaa kwa hii nyumba mm-hmm. uko na freedom ya kutoka kwa nini unajitoka Freedom ya kutoka na toka as in see inja gate hapa tu nje huko inja gate ni siezi toka mm. juni kitoka atakuja mm. obviously kuna marafiki zake hapo inja tawauliza huyo mtu alitoka hapa alikuja na hivi waniseme so palineza toka ni tu inja mlango kuenda cho mm. na kurudi mm. juu chakula seme for example jirani yangu anilete ama maybe akikuja unasema watu au vijana wenye tumeona hapo kwa gate tukiingia yeah. Au ni wengine ni marafiki zake juu both unaona pia wanavuta tu hizo mavitu ma drugs mm-hmm. eh sana unaweza sema kwa marafiki venye yeah. tuliingia hapo ndani mm-hmm. uliwaambia kitu chenye tulikuwa tunafanya hapa ndani jua mm-hmm. nituliza no sikuwaambia just mimi hata nimwambia tunakuja kwa na rafiki yangu unaona mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. singewaambia huyu aliniambia hapo ah watu niona kwanga hapa wakwangi wazuri mm-hmm. most of them wanaweza kuja hapa watu attack sisi wenyewe mm-hmm. ama waamue Mm-hmm. Now you can see the situation she's in so they don't know anything. I don't know if they know mm-hmm. ama hapo ndani kuna CCTV camera. No. Kuna venye tukiingia hapo ndani mm-hmm. walikuwa wanatuangalia in a suspicious way. Mm-hmm. I think actually wacha kwanza ni pimi nione so, if anyone is looking. Yeah. So um uh, me Kenya nataka kukwambia I know that you are going through a lot na umekuwa Umesema you how many months pregnant? Three months pregnant. Three months pregnant mm-hmm. and you are in this still house. Hii hao babaka nakulipia. Yeah, yes ndiye ndiye analipa. Ijo hapa ndio mali anakuja na pata. Hapa ndio pale alinificha. So itabidi amelipa rent. Analala na wewe anataka. Mm. Because you are just a toy for you are like a sex toy. I'm like a sex toy to him. Na nikulize your your mom si yako na wazazi? Ah wasi. Mbona kuna vijana wawili wanakuja? Na ni kama wanakuja hapa. Ah au sijali. Ah so we will not leave her no, here no no are you are you okay kuna kitu yote nyuno unataka kubeba nothing hapa takuna vitu zangu mingi are you ready kuku uko ready twende tutoke twende you risk twende am i safe with you yeah you are, you are absolutely safe si unajua huyu actually the question should be are we safe with you do we trust you enough Yeah, Cuz una jui inaweza kuwa story ya jaba mm-hmm. but we'll get to discover it later on. Mm. No. Mimi kenye nawaambia yote ni kweli na mimi mngenisaidia ningefurahi sana. So I'm going to ask you a question. Are you ready to submit to end na wewe hosisa hizi tupime tuone kwanza hiyo pregnancy iko? Mm. Is yeah. kweni story fake? I'm ready. So director kenye iko ni. Ah. Kama tunatoka hapa. Mm. Is there any way tunaweza pita kwa nakasi? Na njia nyingine. Huko chini? Mm. Ah, anjia ni moja tu. Anjia ni yo moja. So, so k- tunaweza yes. like disguise ourselves into something. Tumbalishe. 
hata kona hudi tunaweza mweka tu ile yake hiyo na as they still contact nikulize mamako they are dangerous hadi kuna unaweza pata wako na bunduki acha mchezo mmm so ndo nakwambia let them come in wakuje kwa wingi wewe lakini wakikuja kwa wingi si wata suspect sasa si wanaweza tu kwa mara moja bran kuna hii kuna hii fence ya mabati yenye maana kuna hii side tukiingia hata hapa kuna venye unaweza karuka wewe tukupandishe uke sisi tupite na tu ni much more better si tutoke tu ni kama tumemaliza kuona beast yake yeah that would be much better wafikie bado uko hapa ndani the time watakuja kuondoa tokoa tu shato wakati mwingine so fanyeni hivi clayton do your finishing touches wacha niangalie kama wako mbali so and then we'll go okay and please detail yote kama uko na detail yote ya babako kama kitu yote iko hapa ndani hata kama ni form for to grab anything yenye una feel inaweza kusaidia through this course yeah you just be sure okay so fanya preparation haraka haraka just one last question kwa nataka kumuuliza because unajua amesema nasikia wanatembea acha niangalie ange angalia direct kuna venye nimesikia kisa uh, like mamake mamake alikufa so i'm wondering mamake hawana familia ama ndio alikuwa tu pia mtoto mmoja mamangu venye unaona babangu alipia mamangu mimba akiwa shule so najua brothers zake walikuwa wakali wakaanza kumrushia maneno wakamfukuza so tuseme nikaa sina any relative na mamake mzazi alikufa so siwezi enda kwa mankosi zangu you know how some relatives are Okay that is what I have for you guys today so we are just going to get you out of this house unless there is a CCTV in this house that somebody is recording us because you know me si trust what to squeeze nitutoke saa hii tutoke saa hii okay so we will see you in a bit guys We're going to have to cut for now. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll, see, I'll give you the updates. Bye. Have a nice time. So, 20. 20. Mm -hmm.